They want my blood. I came down here to Daytona Beach. I'm um, down here on the pier of the boardwalk. Let's see everyone's down here fishing. It's uh, kind of an overcast day. Kind of regret not bringing my sunglasses because the sun's starting to try to come through. And I'm damn near blind out here, but big waves. Here in the off season, so it's it's not too packed. Not a lot of stuff's open, but. Be honest with you there's not a lot of places where you can actually drive on beaches but daytona is definitely one of the better ones because it's hard pack you're not going to get stuck by any means unless you're doing something stupid it's 20 dollars to get in that's that's pretty reasonable considering there ain't a lot of drive on the beach type of places well i mean if you're going to come to daytona you might as well drive on the beach why not Take your car, take your truck, take whatever you want. I mean, it's gorgeous out here. Maybe a little bit of an overcast day today, but I'm okay with that. Welcome to the canals of Miami. I'm going to start picking away at some of these canals, see if I can't pluck a peacock out of here. Uh, I got a freshwater license for a couple of days, so I intend to use it. Hopefully we uh, hook on to something.
Oh, he's got some fight. Pound for pound, these little guys are fighters. Look at that. Look at that beauty. <laughs> yeah. You was a handsome, look at the little knob on your head and everything. This little guy's been through the war. Look at that big chunk taken out of his fin. Better rat. Awful pretty. So we drove down to the Florida Keys last night uh, in Isla Miranda and uh, I'm heading down toward Bahia Honda Bridge because the fishing's supposed to be good down there and bone fishing's supposed to be great out here too. I'm just not so sure about this time of the year. But it's gorgeous and it's cold up north. It's warm down here so you ain't gonna hear me complain a whole lot. Nice tropical, 75 degrees out, humidity's down pretty low. I could, uh, I could deal with this. This isn't too bad. I mean, anywhere you look, views are great down here at the Keys. But I've been here in the rain. It sucks in the rain because it's windy, it's rainy, it's nasty. But on a day like today, yeah, I'll take it. So, project I've been meaning to do for quite a while now. I've been putting it off. I've been wanting to mount some roto packs in between the tailgate and my deck box. Now, they don't really make anything for this sort of situation, but I had it in my head. I went to the hardware store. I tried to find what I could. So this is what I came up with. I've got a gate hinge, which is for like a, you know, cow gate, barn gate. I got these 90 degree brackets that I had to turn into three quarter hole on this end so that I could put a three quarter bolt. Reason I use three quarter bolt is because it just so happened to almost go into this gate hinge pretty sweet. I had to dremel some of it, whatever, no big deal. But problem was I couldn't figure out how to mount this roto pack mount onto this bar correctly. So I had to drill and tap two holes so that I could mount it. So I'm gonna go and put this whole thing together. I got my nut certs already installed in my tailgate pillar. So I'm gonna try to put this hinge here. It'll swing out this way. I got my rotopex, water cans, and I got these Westy water spouts. So the thing should swing out and I should just be able to turn the spigot and should be pretty hands-free until I get a film. That was the idea. I've been 
shuffling those around the back of my Jeep for so long now. It's just so annoying. I want them somewhere permanent, somewhere out of the way, somewhere they're not going to bother me. So we're going to try this and we're going to see how long it takes for them to bother me. All right, are you ready for this? See any uh, water roto packs anywhere? No, nah, of course you don't. Boom. What's up? Still got full use of both drawers. Got all my tailgate space still. And not only that, these act as windbreakers for when I'm trying to use fuel. Pretty happy with it. Not bad for like $25, $30 in hardware. I'm at the south end of the Bahia Honda Bridge. So I'm up here eyeballing whether this is weightable water to go fishing in and I'm looking over on the other side and dude's pulling like a three foot shark. So uh, yeah, there's, there's sharks down here too. It's, uh, that's fun. A little baby hammerhead shark. And you wanna go fishing, wading these waters. So you got giant stingray, baby hammerhead, three foot shark on the other side. And I'm starting to make up my mind here. All right, well, I'm getting in. I'm too happy about it. So I'm out here in the uh, Atlantic Ocean. Yeah, I was down here yesterday. There's a lot of different species of fish floating by. Saw some sharks go by, but I did see a big pack of bonefish come through here. So I'm trying to stay just on the inside of this uh, sandy area so I don't get spotted. But I'm down here below the old Bahia Honda Bridge dilapidated bridge baby stingray I'm gonna step down it too there it goes had enough of me following it for being windy this line casts pretty nice A little baby hammerhead. Oh, it kind of ran there, but oh, he's got teeth on him. Got a little cheat on that guy. Itty bitty little things.
big teeth. Nice one. Look at the teeth on them though. You don't want to get bit by one. Gorgeous ocean views. I have to say, I'm gonna miss it down here. It's been nice, other than getting chewed alive by fire ants. It's been nice.